This playthrough is rated T for teen. So, this is the Sacred Mountain Tour. I had heard rumors about it, but I finally made it here in person. It's so impressive. Thank you. Now I need not be left with any regrets. Successfully completed Marcos Pilgrim's Escort. Greetings and salutations, everyone. Valdemar here with more Trinity, Souls of Zillow. I decided to show that little bit of dialogue, though unnecessary, uh, of the pilgrimage to, uh, uh, tour. You know, to take... I mean, as far as I know, I'm pretty much done. I could just leave. The great thing about this, uh, um, about this escort quest is that he doesn't need to follow you exactly into the next area. He'll just be there. So I could just run. Th I was basically able to run through the whole place and uh, and get get to the end. So that was very nice. We made it. You should be safe now that you made it back here. Thank you again. Because of you, my father's dream has been realized. I simply cannot thank you enough. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am so lucky to have met adventurers such as yourself here. Please accept this token of my gratitude. It's not much, but I hope you will have it. Now I must hurry and tell my father the good news. Again, I truly, truly thank you for all you've done. Hope to see you again. Man, that guy, I, I wonder if he was truly grateful. Yeesh. Still, I got a large water for it. Thank you very much. Uh, before we go on to the plot, let me talk to someone in Arnoton. Arnoton, there's a dwarf I must speak to. He's drunken, to say the least. Uh, I saw a really depressing priest the other day. I wonder what happened to him. From what I hear, he accidentally accepted a donation of holly from one of the pilgrim pilgrims, and a high priest caught him with it. Now, uh, that explains its holly to strictly controlled in Arnoton. I believe it could lead to the resurrection of the evil dragon. The best thing would have to have been to give it to the high priest. You have to be really careful with Holly there. Hair's less his size. Alright, anyway. Back to plot. Uh, I'll do the dwarf one later, like off screen. I'll show the like the result of it. Because I assume it'll be the same thing. Where they won't say anything until you get to the spot that requires it. So anyway, let's go to ancient. And do the and figure out what's uh, going on. You look grim today. I have a mission in Liberdom. I'll see you when I get back. Liberdom? What mission is this? I want to go too. Sorry, but this one is for regulars only. Besides, it's nothing of note. Come on. Just tell me. You said yourself that I need to do something. To get noticed. This won't be it. They found an elven woman in the forest outside Liberdom. Arius, that story of Baylor's son, remember the one that rebelled and was killed for it in the forest, remember? Well, his wife and son have been found there. I'm being sent to take care of them. I do not think it'll be pleasant. Don't get involved. We'll talk later. What are you doing? I'm sorry. I have to go away for a while. Why so suddenly? What's happened? Trust me. It's better that you two don't get involved. What's going on, Arius? Tell us, boy. He's right. Besides, we can all just follow you, once you go away from here in any case. Arius? We are your friends. When you need help, we're here for you. They're in Liberdom. She's in danger. Who's she? I must go. Dorado has already set sail. I have to catch up to him. Dorado? Why are you after him? The elf woman... She is my mother. Baylor wants her assassinated. I must go and save her. Oh, 
no. If you two went with me, you would be branded traitors by Diniskal as well. If we all went through the desert trail, Liberdom is close, even without a boat. The dragon's boneyard, huh? Good. We'll do that. We'd better get ready. What are you saying? No time for arguing. We're in a hurry, remember? But wait. There's no time. I will guide us. And Arius. You are just not thinking things through. That's dangerous. First, we focus on saving your mother. Everything else, we could worry about some other time. Thank you. I am grateful. Uh oh, looks like, uh, looks like your mother is in danger. But, well, let me guess, we can't just go straight to Liberty. We have to go through a certain area first for some reason, right? Uh, just seeing if there's any, uh, random story stuff we can activate while we're here. Let's look it. So, okay. Actually, there's no new scrolls. No. Okay. Alright, where we gotta go? Yeah, let me guess, we can't go straight to Liberty because we could before, but now we're required to go somewhere else. Oh well. The Dragon's Boneyard, a large desert lying between Restoral and Liberdom. Cutting through the desert greatly cuts down on travel time, but due to the ever-changing desert landscape and periodic sandstorms, visitors are very rare. Oh, I can't choose anywhere else! Ah, uh, game, wait for pigeonholing. Wait for making it convenient, I can't just go straight to Liberdom. Alright, anyway, let's do it. Uh, so finally, the cat's out of the bag. We find out that the rest of his friends find out about the elven woman. Why would they care? Like, like, in terms of, like, not that she's a person, but, like, why would it be a big deal for them? They're just like, well, what? That, there's your mom, dude. We'll, we'll help her out. Hey, your family is in danger. We have no time to waste. There's a dragon zombie roaming the desert. Fighting it would take too much time. We should try and avoid it. Ah! Got hit by balls of, uh, pillars of wind. The dickentry in this world knows no bounds. There he is. Uh, eh, I'm not gonna fight you. Unless you're unless you're a different monster type that I haven't fought before for my mystery, I am going to shoot you. Um, let's see, I think I have yeah, I've already gotten yours. Yeah, I'll see you. Now if there's treasures or anything, I'll I'll look for those. Precious treasure. You can never have too much treasure. Ah, spirit water. Always, always good use that. I mean, one small spirit water is still like better than killing like 50 goblins. Although it is hard to find those though. Oh, there was a. Uh, do I want to? Oh, I'll get that, but then I'll head out. Uh, uh, excuse me. I didn't even re eat. Re I haven't even eaten in a while. What am I at burps all of a sudden? Oh well. Anyway, let's get out of here. What the? Oh, <laughs> never mind. Then. The only problem with games like these is I wish they would they would force the characters to like wear different outfits and stuff. Uh, uh, are you holding up, Arius? Nah, I'm fine. Just do it. Dragon zombies will quickly rise even when you're forcing them to get past the one. You should ignore them and hurry forward even if we encounter one. Or we'll fight it. Oh come on, game! Why are you forcing me to stop forcing me to fight. Freaking ninja, my uh, ninja, my ass over here. Grab it, thank you. Yeah, I'll just climb on the side so that way we don't have to deal with that crap. Haha! Yeah, we'll go. We'll grab it. Why not? Stop it. There we go. Man, it's so much easier when you have like some crazy, you know. Skip you. Don't want this episode to last 40 minutes. <laughs> We're on a time constraint, folks. What? Really? Uh, I don't want to do it. Uh, this guy was. Is he hurt? I think. Like I said, it's my brain. Just. Oh, God. God. Or lightning, or whatever that, whatever his thing. Actually, these man cords are a lot easier than the dark uh, and uh, 
than a than a dragon's dogma. Now those are actually kind of hard. Not not ridiculously hard, but you know. ah, nice. Yeah, I need to play that game again. That was actually pretty fun. Like for what it was, it was actually kind of enjoyable. I won't I wouldn't record it or anything. Although I never did play the dark dark arisen uh, expansion that they made for it. I, I wonder if they'll ever do a sequel to that, because I heard it sold decently well, but Capcom's been in a kind of a slump, at least the time of recording in this, like, whoa, look at that thing. Holy crap. Skip it. Or do we? Fight it! Yeah, I will fight it! Oh, okay, I'm damage. Oh, I'm damaging it. If that worked. Fire does not work. Can he even hurt me? Oh, he can hurt me. I didn't even know if ice worked on him or not. I can find out here in a second. I'm like stuck in it. Do any of your attacks, please. Okay, ice is not a weakness. Or fire. Can I just do that to him? I don't know if I was close enough to that. I could did anything, so let's see if uh if he's from darkness. Ah, huh, nothing. I don't know then, I guess uh I guess he doesn't have any obvious weaknesses. Wow. Uh, 
Waste on that again? God. I know the game told me to, but sometimes you can actually, like, like, uh, actually break around that, that type of stuff, or like, oh, you know, it's actually really hard, but if you do, you get a reward of some sort. Nope. I guess I should have listened. This is what happens when you play too many games, so it's that you, you know, uh, you just run into so many situations like this, or you're not sure. When a game's telling you that you the actual truth, or when you think you can actually break the game, because there's been quite a few games where uh, the game, the, the, like, it says it's impossible, but then if you actually do it, the game rewards you. Like, oh, you beat this impossibly hard boss at this point in the game when you're not supposed to. Here you go. Even though the story stays the same, but you know, here's a reward. Most like basically the dragon just chasing you. Well, I'm sorry for wasting your time, folks. Makes me wonder if I should just. Uh, I've cut out uh, that part of the fight. That would actually save me a lot of time. Oh well, we'll, we'll see how this goes so good before, I, uh, before I consider that type of stuff. Leave me alone, scorpions. I already fought. I already fought you to stand still. So, and I technically beat you. So, you know, we'll we'll just count that a draw, even though you can revive yourself. Oh, what? Oh, what? oh that's weird. Okay. Well, that's an interesting, uh, interesting uh, build. Well, I'm sorry I can't destroy the wall. A thing that you told me to, like, that you made hard to get with. I don't, I don't know if I like this, like, constantly changing the uh, camera angles, yeah. Then again, I, I am a fan of the old Red Evil, so. Oh, come on, dude. Why do you have to make it so hard to destroy? Just let me destroy it. It looks like there was actually break-off points, but uh, I didn't actually go do this. Oh, well, we're out of there. If we can make it through here, we'll be in the forest outside of Liberty. What does it matter? I'm fine. Just try to be safe. Don't do anything crazy. I know. I mean, that was a cool little scene, but... Uh, I don't know. I think, I think it... <laughs> So you are the son of Luke. That's right. I am the son of Luke. This scar, there is no doubt. This is the one. Filthy half elves. Nothing more than your ill deserve. Arius? How dare you? Silver, stop now! You too, Arius! But he. That's an order! Both of you, put away your weapons! Oh, 
Arius. You shouldn't have come. This man, Arius. We must investigate him. Don't waste your time. Senior, he just lost his head for a moment. In addition, he's a half-elf. Of course he would get mad hearing your sick remarks. Then, are you aware of where this Arius comes from? No. I think he might have told me. But I don't believe it was anything special. I have received word of your victories on the battlefield. For your exemplary service, I present you with the Order of Dinesco. I am honored, my lord. Your Eminence, there was one who attempted to interfere. He must be arrested and dealt a harsh punishment for his transgressions. Of whom do you speak? A swordsman, become mercenary. Before, at the arena, he was my comrade. Extremely gifted. Even Reg could not overcome him. Reg? Yes. A swordsman who is said to have no equal. This instance, I believe he did not act out of disobedience. Rather, he only acted out of reflex. It would be a waste to have him killed. He is Arius, my closest friend. He is a warrior of the highest caliber. I believe he would make an invaluable addition to the military. Hmm. Is that so? Then we shall test him. I have a special task for him. Rag is part of a group who would dare to raise arms against me. They are led by the one known as Nemia. I believe you may know of him. We shall see if this Arius truly has the ability to defeat this scourge. A most righteous mission. He will be very honored. Upon his successful completion, I personally will grant him his reward. You honor us, my lord. I cannot understand why you care so much about him. He will be your downfall. Speak no more. I know of many who have been ruined by supposed friends from the past. You should not trust him. I will hear no more of this. Did you see the look on his face back in the forest? He was just shocked by what he saw. No, not shock. It was something else. I'm sure he's hiding something. And what do you suppose that is? I think perhaps that... that maybe Arius is... The true grandchild. <laughs> That's absurd. But it would explain everything. You yourself saw the scar on the back of the one you killed. A scar on the back would be a very simple thing to fake. Arius is most suspicious. We know nothing of his past, and he is a half elf. I think he must certainly have a scar. Silence! On his... He's from the arena. Of course he has scars. Lord Baylor has spoken. You will speak no more.
that was a that was a big thing. We just found out that he didn't get there in time. It wasn't all happy gumdrops. I had a kind of big feeling that they were gonna get killed at some point during the story, to you know make it more prominent that he just needs to get kill Baylor and stuff like that. Not that that wasn't there before, but now when you see it in front of your face, you're just like ah. So with his mom and bro half brother dead, what will Arius do? Will he? fall into depression or will he use his newfound rage to increase his efforts to find a way to defeat Baylor? We'll start this tale next time on Trinity Souls of Zillow. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.